السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى is blessed all of us to have in our hearts a desire to remember our Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and to internalize the reality of his reality so that we become a reflection of his character of his stature of his state a reflection not the reality he's he's the reality but if we can reflect it then our hearts are beautified by reflecting his heart our character is beautified by reflecting his character sallallahu alaihi wasallam and over time <coughs> over time we're transformed and that's critically important but we're transformed into becoming to the extent of our limited potentiality Muhammadayak so a, a, a person whose character whose state whose being gives evidence of a desire to be like our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's critically important because as, uh, as Muslims, as we systematically, knowingly or unknowingly, voluntarily or involuntarily are secularized in our thinking and our thoughts and our actions uh, we, we, we lose touch with that reality with that Muhammadic reality and in losing touch with that we lose touch with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so if there's no conscious effort at remembrance then we'll forget and, and forgetting about the messenger of, messenger of Allah, we forget about Allah because He is our, He leads us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is Al-Hadi. He is the guide to, the, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Qasida says, Anta Babullah. He is the gate that leads unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in forgetting about Him, we forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in forgetting about Allah, we forget about our souls. We forget about what we're in this world to do. We think we're in this world to do stupid things like wear ripped up clothes that we buy. <laughs> like, think about that's People are doing that. Some Muslims are doing that. They wear their pants until they're ripped up. They throw them in the garbage, go to the store, and spend $100 buying pre-ripped up pants. So that's what a human being becomes. When we forget about Allah, we forget about ourselves, we forget about the Prophet wasallam. We forget about the fundamental human dignity. We forget about the mercy we should have to each other. I was coming from the airport. And we were on the San Mateo Bridge, and we get a call that some person who was a Muslim in Phoenix, Arizona, shot his wife in front of his children. Uh, he forgot. He forgot about who he is. He forgot about Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and forgetting about Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he forgot about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And forgetting about Allah, he forgot about one day, that one day he'll be standing before Allah. And he has to give account for his actions. He has to give account for the murder of his wife. He has to give account for, for the trauma he's caused his children. So may Allah bless us to, to be amongst those don't be like those who forgot about Allah and He caused them to forget about their souls. And so 
in remembering Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in remembering Allah, we remember our souls. May Allah bless us to be amongst those who are mindful. So these, these, are not, these are not gatherings of entertainment. They're, they're gatherings of, of, of comfort, but not entertainment. There's a purpose. We, 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 we are, are singing, and songs are very easy to recall. We remember the melodies, and then the melodies evoke the words, and the words evoke the meanings, and the meanings evoke action. So this is, this is a vital step in our efforts to walk in the footsteps of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I'll stop because I hear someone's praying. That's called a subtle hint. <laughs> if we don't walk in the footsteps of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then what happens? We walk in the footsteps of Shaitan, Qutuwat al-Shaitan. And there's no third path. There's no third path. May Allah give us tawfiq, taysir. May Allah bless us to be elevated. May Allah bless us to be dignified human beings when people are losing their dignity. May Allah bless us to remember our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when people see the prophetic heritage as some relic, a dinosaur to be studied like you study dinosaur bones. May Allah bless us to, to be people who understand that our carnal nature is what unites us with dogs and pigs and monkey and monkeys. And it's our spiritual nature that and our intellect that distinguishes us as humans. So may Allah bless us to cultivate our spirit and to cultivate our intellects and to do that in the light of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's the better Ta'ala al Badr alayna. He reflects the light of the full moon. He reflects the light of Allah. And so may he guide us to Allah. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam taslima kathira. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifuna wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.